Next, we are going to discuss visual summaries that do not serve the purpose of telling the story, but rather confuse or mislead. Look at the massive decrease in unemployment from September of one year to March of the following year. The decrease looks significant only due to the most of the histogram missing because of the cutoff on the vertical axis. If you look at the whole picture, the decrease from 5.4% to 5.0% doesn't seem that impressive. Now look at the huge difference between the effects of oxycontin and placebo in one of the studies. As in the previous case, the difference between the effects look only significant because of the histogram being cut off on the vertical axis. And as in the previous case, if you look at the whole picture, the decrease from 23% to 12% doesn't seem that impressive after all. So nobody is fooled by this image and this narrative. If you look at the numbers only, the increase from $80,000 to $82,000 doesn't seem that impressive. And please, don't think that this can only happen in a textbook. This is an example of a newspaper with a misleading graph. Can you tell which one is misleading? Of course, it's the one on the right. Of course, this can also be found on the web. Here's another example of a misleading graph. And you can find many such examples in major news networks, or at least one network. Coincidentally, all the examples here are from Fox News. Next, we will discuss other ways in which the graphs can be used to mislead. Look at the proportion of smoking adults decreasing from 1970 to 2013. While the proportion of smoking adults decreased by a factor of 2, the problem with this visual demonstration is that when the dimensions are increased or decreased by a factor of 2, the area is increased or decreased by a factor of 4. So in this case, it appears that the proportion decreased by a factor of 4, which is not the case. Look at how much basketball is more expensive to attend in comparison to the other sports. While the average ticket prices for a basketball event is the highest at $38 in comparison to $17 for the other sports, the image of a puck, a baseball, and a basketball put the focus on the area rather than the height, which is rather distracting than revealing. What a great 3D pie chart! Which of the two categories, local passenger transport or food, appears larger? Food? You are wrong. They are both 12%. With the recent advancements in technology, it is very easy to produce a 3D image with the press of a button. However, rarely the use of such graphs is justified, so be aware. Another example of a great 3D summary. But which of the two categories, the number one or number four, appears taller? Number four? Wrong. They are both equal to 0 0.5. Well, look at this chart. The economy is clearly doomed. Or never mind. This is the heat map of a microwave after using it for one minute. The problem here is that no axes are labeled and it is hard to guess what the chart represents. Please, never hesitate to question the labels and the units. Sometimes, the visual summary misrepresents the data by mistake, as in the next case. Do you think the majority of voters thinks that Scotland should be independent? Wrong. The other majority thinks otherwise. However, sometimes the visual summary misrepresents the data with a null purpose, as in the next case. How do you think the number of murders committed using firearms changed after Florida enacted its Stand Your Ground law? It appears that the number went down. However, look at the flipped vertical axis. In any way, it is the responsibility of a viewer not to be fooled by a misleading graph, regardless of whether it was by mistake or on purpose. In summary, pay attention to the axis labels and units, avoid 3D, and don't be afraid to ask questions.